Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Generation Z Gadgets. And for this video, we're gonna be talking about one of the things that interests me the most, which is the company SpaceX. What is it? We're gonna be talking about what it is, why it's important to us in this day and age, and some seriously unknown facts about this company that I was super surprised to find out when I was doing research. And also, finally, what it's gonna be doing in the future and how that's gonna be important for the rest of humanity. So, what is SpaceX? So SpaceX focuses on manufacturing advanced rockets and just general spacecraft. It was founded back in 2002 with its original mission being to revolutionize space technology and also to enable humans to become a multi-planetary species which is one of Elon Musk's greatest dreams. So uh, Musk has a lot of influence in what SpaceX does and a lot of SpaceX missions are personal goals, personal ambitions from Musk. So some of its monumental milestones include number one, it returned a spacecraft from low Earth orbit in 2010. And this is probably one of its most famous milestones. It became the first company in the entire world to do so, or the first private venture, I think. And it was a big deal. So second, um, it manufactured the Dragon capsule. You may or may not have heard of this. Pretty famous if you know anything about space technology. Um, but the Dragon capsule was the first commercial spacecraft to deliver cargo to and from the ISS. And later it's designed to carry human passengers to the ISS and back. So that's gonna be really interesting to see and we actually might have to, not have to wait that long to see that. Third, it achieved the first reflight of an orbital rocket in 2017 with the Falcon 9 delivering a payload in space and then returning to Earth for a second trip. And it is going to be reused again and again and again. It also launched the Falcon Heavy, which is the world's most powerful operational rocket and they did so in 2018. And finally, the Dragon crew um, docked at ISS earlier in March, and that's a big deal because that shows that the Dragon capsule has a lot, a lot of potential here. And uh, the fact that it docked at the ISS means that NASA is in full support of, of not only the Dragon capsule, but just in general, a lot of SpaceX's projects. NASA is in full support of that, and you'll see that a little bit later in this video. So now, just most recently, in just the last week, SpaceX successfully relaunched its Falcon Heavy rocket, which was its third flight. And what it did is it delivered 24 satellites to various points within Earth's orbit um, in just over 3.5 hours, which actually isn't that much time if you think about it. It was the most challenging SpaceX mission and most daring by far, and probably the most complicated rocket launch in human history, according to Musk. So now we move on to things you didn't know about SpaceX. I mean, you probably didn't know all the stuff I just said either, but that's just more general trivia. Now we're getting to some of the more interesting fine-tuned details of the company. So its first milestone in 2010, like I said before, was hugely monumental for the company and for just space technology for humanity in general. And the reason it was is because it shot past the competition because it was the first private entity to launch a craft around the Earth. Just think about that. It was the first private entity, not government sponsored, to fly, to shoot a rocket, to launch a rocket that, fl that flew around the Earth. That's pretty insane and pretty freaking monumental. They also sent a Dragon capsule that went over twice around the world before parachuting into the Pacific Ocean. And the second is that they're much more cost effective than NASA. Um, it's Falcon 9 rocket, which was its reflighted orbital rocket, cost about a third of what NASA was projected to spend on the project. NASA paid 381 plus million dollars to the company to continue their work after they saw their work with the Dragon capsule um, and the Falcon 9 rocket. So NASA is in full support of this and NASA and SpaceX, in case you didn't know, have a very, very tight bond and they're very, very, very close working partners. SpaceX is also bringing NASA back to life allocating over 800 million plus dollars for the program worked on for SpaceX, which is far more funding than NASA has received in the past. So SpaceX also aims to put an astronaut in orbit using the Dragon capsule to carry astronauts into space. Um, and this actually may occur this summer slash fall. It's, that's when it's due to happen. But you know, with SpaceX, their timeline is not exactly accurate all the time. And even more interestingly, the Dragon capsule has already been planned to be modified for Mars architecture. And this is something that's gonna happen with a lot of SpaceX craft is that in the next few years, they're gonna start devoting all their resources towards Mars missions. So I actually wanna go, go through all the active spacecraft that SpaceX uses, at least the ones that they use primarily. It's a really important component of the company. 
So all the active spacecraft that SpaceX uses include the Falcon 9 rocket, which is a two-stage rocket uh, designed to transport satellites, and Dragon spacecraft also, which carries potential passengers one day. We also have the Falcon Heavy rocket, which is the most powerful, like I said before, operational rocket in the entire world, in entire human history. And it can lift two times more than the next operational vehicle, and even more than the Falcon 9, which is already lifting a full freaking space capsule with it. The Dragon capsule is a free-flying craft designed to hold cargo for human passengers. It's already been actually designed to hold people and it takes them to orbiting destinations such as the ISS. It's currently the only active spacecraft capable of returning a meaningful amount of cargo to or from Earth. And it was actually designed initially from the beginning for up to seven human passengers. So what's the future of SpaceX? Well. Like I said before, they're devoting all their resources, or at least the majority of their resources, to Mars missions in just the next couple of years. And they'll be utilizing their Dragon capsule to sort of hold a lot of the passengers. And they're also making a whole new series of crafts, including the Starship and the Super Heavy. They've already created a prototype for one of them. Um, you can watch my video right there, that's my video on Elon Musk's uh, crazy projects for humanity, and I talk a little bit more about SpaceX's ventures and Musk's plan for SpaceX and the future there as well. It's very interesting. It's crazy stuff. So what did you think? Did you learn more about SpaceX in this video? I hope you did. Um, and there's, I'm going to leave the links to some cool articles in the description below. I just think this topic is really cool and I know it's not like a smartphone or tech market sort of video, tech buyer's guide. Um, but I think it's really important in this channel to cover not only like mobile technology, but also certain other technology and science that's uh, sort of revolutionizing our, our, our race. And, and, and uh, SpaceX really seriously intends to put humans on Mars. And you look at things like NASA, they're not really going to go anywhere. So SpaceX has to take the, the, the initiative here. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as always and learned something. Uh, this is the Truth About series, and um, it'd be cool. A lot of cool videos are due when I come back. Um, I think you guys will really like some of the videos I'm doing. Um, sneak peek: I got a, I got a device I shipped to my house. Um, it's a pretty cool device, and it's for an all-new series that I think you guys will really like. But anyway, guys, until then, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.